Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you right here on YouTube Live. Happy Monday to everybody. And yes, this is live. So if you are new to the trades, you want to get into the trades, you want to get better at the trades, or maybe you want to start your own residential service company, this is such a great place to be. And it's not just me. If you think a lot about what you do and you're very precise and you make firm decisions, if you're kind of wild and freaking crazy and you just like to have fun, if you really love customers, you care about people, you want to do what's right for everybody. And you also, you like to hear other opinion, people's opinions, know what they're thinking, what they want to do and how they want to do it. This is a great place for you because we talk plumbing. We talk all things plumbing and it's not just me. There are some of the best plumbers across the country that get in here quite often. And man, we jump in, we have a good time, but it's a lot of fun. And I've kind of got things mixed up today, so I'm playing with it here just a second. <clears throat> First of all, how is everybody doing today? If you will, down in the comments, leave me a message. Let me know where you're at, what you're doing. Uh, are you in the trades? Are you thinking about getting in the trades? Is the trade something you want to get into? Or are you just here hanging out because you heard it was a cool spot to be? It happens sometimes. How is everybody doing? I'm going to jump over in the comments and I will tell you this. I believe that Dean is going to put a note up top to let everybody know that if you have a question, jump over into the form, put it in there. And I am, yeah, this is going to, I'm going to have to move things around, but you know what? I can do this. Y'all watch this. It don't take me but just a second. I'm straightening it up. I have got, and, and I think I've showed them to y'all before. I've got like two 49 inch monitors right here in front of me. Uh, and man, just to get everything situated in the right spot. So I know where to look, what to do and how to do it. Uh, sometimes it's a lot of fun, but we always make it work. So I am right over here. I want to say hello to Miss Kiana Velez, how are you doing? Great to see you in here. It started off with Miss Amber Mendoza. Looky there. We got Eagle Scout Myers. How are you? Good to have you here. Uh, everybody tell me where you're at, where you, what you got going on right, right here. Amber says gorgeous Dallas day to talk plumbing. Roger's back in black. Yes, indeed. And I, I you know, people tell me all the time. They're like, Hey man, uh, you are red all the time. Maybe not all the time, but I mean, you know, man, I, look, I look good in red and black. I'm just one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. Anyway, tell me where you're at. Tell me what it is you do uh, and, and why you're here. Uh, so Kiana, hello to you. Atlas093 says trades plumbing. Man, is there any other trade? And, and I say that often, but at the end of the day, look, I'm an HVAC technician uh, and I love it. I just don't do it. But, you know, I've been a plumber for f over 40 years now. I love plumbing. It is a lot of fun. Uh, and I make a pretty good living at it for, you know, an old white guy. Treasure Hoard Hobbies, Howdy from Dallas, Multifamily HVAC. Now, multifamily, I'm assuming you mean apartments and condos and stuff like that. Man, I used to do that plumbing. I loved it. Uh, I mean, man, that, that was busy work. That was back in the 80s. All those condo slabs up and down 30 that... They never built the condos on that. That's what it's all about. Uh, and how do y'all like this? We've got a third camera now. we got a new big monitor over here. Uh, kind of neat. I enjoy it. Gary Tentress says, hello from Salem, Virginia. In plumbing and have been since 2014. Good for you. Austin Duncan, 20 years old, going to apply for local UA apprenticeship in about three weeks. Austin, I would tell you, uh, uh, man, try to get done there now. Get in as soon as you can and apply. They may have some paperwork for you to put together. You know, go ahead and get that in, get that knocked out. Uh, Donnie C says, yep. My brother from another mother, Mr. Sean Strong, is in the house. And, you know, just to show a little love to Sean, throw up a little subreddit link right here. Uh, if y'all have not seen our subreddit, you need to go over and check it out. As it says right there, Roger Wakefield posts. Man, we get some of the greatest, and I mean greatest, pictures and videos I've ever seen. Uh, man, you, you guys rock. Y'all really, really do. Uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Absolutely. 
Alita Baker says, Roger, I believe you said you weren't a fan of shark bite fittings. Could you expand on why? Uh, yeah, we look, I own a residential service company here in the Dallas area. We do a lot of plumbing repair and Alita, I hate to say this, but you know, shark bite fittings tend to leak. And I don't know if it's because of the installer, homeowner, handyman, whoever it is not doing things right or what, but we go back and fix a lot of leaks that are shark bites. We don't go back and fix a whole lot of leaks that are just copper solder joint. <clears throat> don't get me wrong, it can happen. Just not very often, I like to note, uh, you do look good in black, by the way. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. So look, he says, residential HVAC technician from the Phoenix area. Man, if you're doing HVAC in Phoenix, you got it going on. You are busy. I love that. Uh, I'm going to try over here in Kajabi because I hadn't seen a link up top yet. And actually, it is there. Uh, Dean put it there. says, ask me a question. If y'all will go up to the top, if you have any questions that you want answered, because I guarantee I will answer all the questions over in the forum. I will try to get to the ones in the comments. Normally, man, I just jump in the comments and go through. Uh, we got a Roger and a Roger K, kind of like that. Roger K, what's up? Mr. Rogelio, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, Amber, you've been messed around here, just so you know, just a little bit. Uh, Joe Holland says, I have three 27 inch monitors in front of me. You know, Joe, I used to have four 27s in here and I had to put two on one computer and two on another computer. And I've got a freaking super computer back here. Uh, I think I had a scratch and dent cell at the white house and I bought, you know, one of the world power computers or something. Anyway, it does just about everything. And the neat thing about it is it works. My other brother, Mr. Connor Hedrick, how are you, sir? Connor, here's what we do. We actually sleeve poly pipe. So we'll put PVC in, we'll run poly in it and loop it up. That way it's a double containment. If there ever is a leak, it's going to be above and below. And if there ever is, you can actually pull a new line through. It's kind of magic, but it works very well. Uh, Larry Evans says, hey, Mr. Roger, how are we doing? Chin Lee says, hey, Roger, plumber from Jamaica. I want to swap jobs with you. Man, I'm just all my mind. I just thought of Jamaica. Come to Jamaica. Come to Jamaica. And my mind is literally like, man, uh, I've been doing it for six years now. How do I keep a proper and constant client base? Well, number one, and a lot of your clients are just coming and going. Uh, you need to get in touch with whoever's managing the, the rental properties the resorts, things like that. Generally, one thing that I would do, specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. We do that. I've got uh, a sister company that does that over in Hawaii. And they literally, they make their money doing leak detection and repairs at resorts. So it is huge. Uh, but that's what I would get really good at because if they're shut down, they've got problems. Uh, they cannot have people coming in to hang out at the resorts if the pool doesn't work. So man, I would be all over it. Alex says, hello there. I'm a, friend, I'm a fan from Germany. Number one, welcome. I, I'm so glad to have you here. Says, I don't really do plumbing, but in my gap year, I worked a lot with my hands. Built stairs, worked with wood, concrete, have a lot of respect for any craft. You know what, man, I am right there with you and I agree with that. I tell everybody plumbing is the best trade. I may be slightly partial, just a little bit, but a little bit's a big word to me here lately. Just, just a little bit, un poquito. Uh, the, the neat thing about it is at the end of the day, look, I'm a plumber and that's probably why I think it's the best, but you're right. I'm just like you, any craft, any tradesperson, whether they're an electrician, an HVAC tech, a plumber, a roofer, it, man, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, they're all phenomenal people. So Alec, I agree with you hundred percent. Uh, Philly J says plumbing or HVAC and Philly, here's what I'll tell you. And I don't know if you mean you do plumbing or HVAC or if you do both, but my thought process is I stuck with plumbing and I loved it. When I learned HVAC, I really thought about trying to expand and open, opening a multi infinity shop, meaning where I could do plumbing and HVAC. I just never did. 
Uh, so I never got in a truck, rode with anybody, got really good at it. I know it on paper, and I have it on my license and things like that, but I have not jumped in there. So, man, uh, you got to decide what's best for you. And, and people ask me all the time, what trade can I make the most money in? And to be 100% honest, you can make the most money in the trade that you enjoy the most because that's where you'll want to learn the most and become the best. Elena Zibi, how are you? Zlebi, and I hope I got that right. Elena, how are you? Good to have you in here. Uh, I'm a second-year female apprentice in New Zealand. Do you have any advice? Yes. Elena, number one, don't give up. I, I Actually, I've got two pieces of advice. Number one, don't give up. Number two, never stop learning, meaning you're going to get a license and you're going to be a professional and you're going to get out and you're going to be in the trades and you're going to want to do what most people do. They're like, look, I just, I wanted to be a plumber. So now I'm a plumber and they stop learning. What I will tell you is do not ever stop learning and you will keep rising. You can go up to become a project manager, a, a director of operations, maybe just a foreman or superintendent. But if you keep learning, new tools, new materials, new trades, new techniques, new anything. It will help you move up. And then once you start getting into management, start learning construction management, leadership, things like that, you'll do good. Uh, Donnie C., you know, you put Oklahoma, and I'm in Texas. Uh, you know, don't want to get this to get political or anything, but, you know, you did put Oklahoma in there for some reason. Uh, here's what I'll tell you, man. Look, uh, I love it up in Oklahoma. Love going up to Oklahoma City. If you've never eaten at Nick's Grill in Oklahoma City, man, I would be there tomorrow. Uh, one of the best burgers around. It is phenomenal. The Swiss Vapor, how are you doing? Hello, everyone. Greetings from Switzerland. How are you? Good to have you in here. Uh, so we, we've got Switzerland in here. We've got New Zealand in here. So Elena and the Swiss paper, tell me what time is it where y'all are at? It is literally 4.15 in the afternoon here in Dallas, Texas, or just outside of. And let me see. I had a and it jumped on me again. There we go. Roger K is in Chino, California, right near L.A. Uh, Roger K, I will be speaking at Vid Summit in L.A. September the 28th, 29th, or 30th. I don't remember. I think it's the 29th, to be honest. I believe I speak at 8.30 in the morning, so you can't drink the night before. Just saying. Uh, Larry Evans, hello from Covington, Georgia. How are you doing? And Austin Duncan says he's located in the Bay Area of California, about to apply for local UA union apprenticeship in three weeks. Austin, good for you. Uh, I love that. And then Sean, of course, put a link in to the subreddit. Now, I'm going to hit refresh over here. I believe I've got a couple of questions in the forum. And it is moving around. Ooh, i got a few here. See why I jump over? Guys, if you have questions and you want to guarantee they get answered, click up top. Uh, there's a link up there to ask me questions here. If you will go over there, ask your questions, I will jump into the forum and answer them. This is the only spot that I guarantee questions get answered. If you put them in the comments, eh, it may happen, it may not. I'm going to try, but you get no guarantees. So let me see here. First question. Justin says, my toilet takes like three full flushes to flush completely. What can be done to help it flush on the first time? It doesn't say welder in the trades above. Man, I'm sorry about that, Justin. It should. Uh, Man, and I don't know why it don't. I'm sorry. My, my, my grandmother just rolled over in her grave. I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, here's, here's the cool thing is I'll talk to the guys. We'll fix that. Uh, I was in a union, so plumber, pipe fitter, welder, man, we're all the same to me. I know you probably disagree, and there's a lot of other people that will too, so don't, don't shoot me. Here's what I'll tell you. You've probably got calcium and magnesium buildup. Uh, Justin, I would ask how old the toilet is because if you've got calcium and magnesium built up in the rim where the water comes in and out, if you don't get enough water through there, it's not going to flush well. So there's a couple of different things you can do. Number one, turn the water off, flush the toilet, get the water out of the tank, raise your flapper and pour vinegar down in there. 
it's going to put the vinegar out in your rim. Hopefully, that's going to break up enough calcium and magnesium to get it out. Now, that's the easy way. The more advanced way is take a syringe, like a, like a, a basting syringe for a turkey, fill it full of that gel toilet cleaner, look up underneath there, stick it up in the hole, squirt it up in there, get that gel up in there where it'll clean some of it out. If those holes get clogged, water's not going to come out, and it's going to flush real, real slow. So that could be it. There may, could be a blockage down in the lead bin, down in the drain below it. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that'll help for you. Eagle Scott Myers says he's in Indiana. It's 406, and you're a welder. Good for you, man. And I'm trying to see, did I, did I get my time wrong a while ago? I said it was 415. Okay, I got about 419 right now, so we're really close. Good. Yeah, Kiana, you should be answering the phones, but I'm glad you're in here. What's up, Eagle Scout? Hello, Eminem, mechanical from Illinois. Love your content. Mr. Goodbox, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, look, we have fun in here, and we, we don't just talk plumbing, uh, although we do talk plumbing. I am a plumber, plumber 101, plumber DI, DIY, all this good stuff. We talk about everything. Uh, we talk about slab leaks, leak detection, because that's something we specialize in. That's something I think every plumbing company should think about doing, because if we can help people save water, it is amazing. Ms. Amber Mendoza says, love all the new cameras and the monitors look great. And, and I got to tell you, the monitors are pretty cool. Uh, they make my job easy because I've got YouTube over here. I got Stream Deck here. I got my questions here. I got pornography. No, I don't. I'm joking. Uh, I, I have plumbing pulled up. Whatever I need, I'm good to go. But I got my questions all right here. So it's wonderful. Okay. Good call, Austin. Now I see why. Anthony Michael says, hey, Roger, love your show. Keep it up. I've been a plumber for 15 years now in Jersey. Love and hate it every day. You know, Anthony, the neat thing about it is, and look, I think we're all there at some point. I have days where I hate plumbing. But, and it's normally a, a customer. It's normally a situation that, you know, I've either let myself get into. I don't have the right tool, the right material with me, whatever the case is. But I got to tell you, and at the end of the day, at the end of the year, I always love plumbing. I think I'm in a great trade. Silky86, how are you? What advice would you give someone opening up their own residential service business for the first year? Well, here's what I would tell you. Is, number one, know what you're doing before you open your business. Meaning there are companies out there that can help you. There are companies out there that can help teach you how to build budgets, how to build your pricing guide, how to build your HR, your back end, a million different things. Uh, so that's a big thing. Know your CPA, know your bookkeeper, know that you've got all your taxes, your, your licenses, your insurance, you've got everything done and covered every day. Uh, and man, if you'll do that, I promise you that that right there will help you a lot. Eric Sanders says, hello from Oregon, Benchmade Knife Assembler. That is fantastic. Welcome to the show. Atlas093 says, hey there, Roger, just a question. Better to use 245s to make a long sweep or drain lines? You know, as long as I can get a long sweep 90, I'll do that. But yeah, if not, 245s is good. Uh, anything you can do to help cut that radius where it's not just a super tight turn. Yes, indeed. All right, guys, I'm going to jump back over into the forum for just a moment. Make sure that I got everything lined up here and working. <clears throat> got more questions in here. Good deal. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay over here for a little bit, guys. Uh, Jeb Baker, still in school, says, my parents say they remember you from high school. Uh, if your name is Jet Baker, I bet you're, yep. You tell Lisa and John, I'll say hello. Uh, your mother's an angel. Your dad is a great guy. Uh, Jet Baker, good to have you in here. I like that. Still in school though. Fantastic. Good for you. Yeah, your parents are, are two wonderful people. Uh, and look, I, if they weren't, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, I know them. No, both your parents are really fantastic people. That's cool. 
Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Next, I have Arsh. How do we fix pipes in Terry Ma? Hmm. I don't know. How do you? That's a good one, though. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'll tell you how we fix them here in Texas. Uh, we find the leak and make the repair. Works great. Next question. Jonathan. I got a feeling this is going to be a bad one. Jonathan, I'm just telling you, I already feel it. Okay, maybe not. Uh, sh should I take plumbing and heating in high school to be an HVAC tech or just take regular high school? Either way, I have to go to HVAC school, right? The answer is actually no. You can actually go to work for an HVAC company as an apprentice, as a helper, learn what they're doing. And, you know, th there's places here in town, once you get your hours in, you can literally go through their course. They'll teach you a lot, and then you'll get certified. It's actually pretty cool. I, I hate to tell people that. Uh, I literally got my HVAC license in 12 days. Now, here's the thing about it, though. I had been doing HVAC top work, chill water, heating water, process cooling, condenser water, all that for years. And then I went and took the course just to get my license, and it was actually pretty cool. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. All right, next question. Larry says, hey, Mr. Roger, hope all is well. What do you recommend for a regular septic tank treatment? You know, Larry, man, I'm going to be 100% honest with you here. We don't deal a lot with septic tanks. Now, what I would probably do is call a septic tank company uh, and just ask them, like, what, what – normal treatment, do you recommend for it? How often should it be done? Things like that. We have used BioClean, BioOne. We've used some different things like that. And I think actually both of them would probably work very well. If you can't find anything, let me know. If you do find something that your septic people tell you works really, really well, also please let me know. I, I would just, I would be curious and I think that could be a great, great video to talk about. So that, that would be good. Let me back up here. Next question I got. Will says, is residential new construction a thing or does residential service do both? Great question, Will. And if you'll go to my YouTube channel when we're not doing the live, go, go up in there. And actually, I think you can probably scroll down in the description here. Uh, I hadn't looked. But I think that there's a, free, a link to the mini course. Uh, it's called Plum Study. If you'll go over there, there's a free introductory course that literally just asks you what kind of plumber you want to be. And it's neat that you ask this because when I got into plumbing, when Sean Strong got into plumbing, I know he didn't know, I didn't know. So many plumbers I talked to had no idea what kind of plumber they were going to be. And what I mean by that is there's residential, there's commercial. There's new construction, there's service, there's union, there's non-union. And believe it or not, you can get any combination of those, meaning residential service union, commercial, new construction, non-union, any way you can mix those three up, you can get it. So yes, there is a residential new construction. That's people that build houses and, and condos and apartments, stuff like that. Good questions today. Shayward. And if it'll click into it. There we go. Shay says, hi, when I turn on the water inside the house, you can hear it at the shutoff valve outside. Please tell me what may be the issue. Uh, if you can hear it at the shutoff valve outside, your valve may not be open all the way. Whenever you turn on water inside, it's running through that valve outside. 
it's funny, I went to do a leak detection job the other day, and before I even went in the house, they told me, so we've got the water turned off at the valve outside. I went out and put my equipment on it, and I said, look, y'all got to leak outside too. And they said, well, the other plumber said it's in here, and we're getting water in here. And sure enough, they did have a leak in there, but they also had one outside. So, yeah, it runs through that valve even if, and I say it may be closed all the way because if there's any kind of a restriction, it's going to make it scream louder. But if there's enough water flowing through it, even if that valve is open, say there's a couple of 90s or something, it's just like having a manifold. Manifolds really mess leak detection people up a lot because when we go in to listen at this manifold over here and water loops up here, catches a sink or something, and goes back down and comes over to the bathroom back here, you can hear, like if you put air bubbles in at the water heater, you can hear it go through this manifold, and a lot of times that stuff will mess you up. Uh, but it is really just things moving through it. It's the, the way it's supposed to work. Uh, got another question over here. Actually, a couple more. As if you want to guarantee your questions get answered, jump over into the form. Have you ever used a ferrule removal tool from the English tools? You know what's really funny, Roger? I've got that tool in there on my desk. Are you talking about the, the black one with the ratchet? Uh, if you are, just put a yes in the comments because I'm kind of bouncing over and, and looking in there. But but yes, I've, I've actually got that. Uh, and I'm trying to remember... That's the one that has the piece that screws in. You slide it in, you start squeezing it, pops it right off. Yeah, I've got this. I've got like three or four, and I'm going to make a video about it because I think that those are great tools to have. All right, guys, remember, if you have any questions, please go up to the top of the comments because what I'm going to do, as soon as I get back over in the comments, I'm just going to go right down towards the bottom. And Philippe says, I'm from Norway, still wondering, how do you do in school grade-wise? You know what? I, I was, and I hate to say this, I was pretty much a C student. The bad thing is I should have made straight A's. Uh, when I was in school, I saw no value in the education system. I knew that, it, that to be anything, I was going to have to go to school when I got out. So I'm like, why try real hard here? I know that's a really stupid way to do it. But... At the end of the day, you know, I wanted out of school. And I knew I didn't want to go to college because I thought I am not going to get out of school and go to school for four more years. It just ain't going to happen. So what I will tell you, Philippe, is you don't have to make great grades, but if I were you, I'd try. Uh, I promise you it will help you in the long run because really what you're learning is how to study, how to get better, how to grow, things like that. Uh, and that will, man, that, that will help you throughout the rest of your career. When people get jobs, they think, okay, I'm through learning. I have a job now. And, and they think that when they get out of college too. And the bad thing is they are literally just getting into a position to start learning because that's when you really start. Uh, next question from Jay, Hansel, Jay San Jose says, do you love or hate crawl spaces? And Jay, man, I got to tell you, Crawl spaces don't bother me. Uh, I, I like them. It, uh, I, man, I can get in there, move around, do a lot of things. I have got an idea of a, to a toy I want to buy. It's a little four-wheeler uh, with an HD camera under there that you can move around. So, man, I'm always looking at stuff to do. Uh, grossest moment in your plumbing. Uh, probably when I splattered the back of a toilet so bad I didn't know if it ever clean up. Okay, maybe not. But now I have the uh, American Standard Aqua Clean. I can press a button; it washes itself. Way to go. Uh, Joe Holland says our two-man crew, which is my boss and I, are waiting on two of our jobs for trim. Yeah, when you're waiting on jobs, it's not good. Uh, Mr. Jarrett, I think I answered that one just a little while ago. Uh, I did. <laughs> I guess really the, the, the grossest plumbing job I've ever done, 
is when I walked in and, and really didn't do. When I walked in and they had had a stopped up toilet and they, they had kept using it for months. And I just thought, you know what? If y'all don't care enough to keep it cleaned up a little bit, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it enough to come in and fix it. I realized now it's a bad attitude. Uh, and, and I'm working on it every day. So if you don't like my attitude, wait a month or two. It'll change because I am working on it. But it will get better. Somehow, some way, it'll get better. Uh, Treasure Hard Hobby says, also used to work more with multifamily maintenance during the February freeze. Yeah, that was the only time when you shark back solely because everything else will go nuts. Yeah, you were just trying to stop water then. Kataje, how we doing? Welcome back from Baltimore. Good to have you in here. Mr. Jarrett, about enough, man. Jack Scalia, do you have a favorite brand tools that you would recommend? You know, I got to tell you, and I've, I've been asked that a lot here lately. Look, th th there's three brands of tools that, that I use quite often. Milwaukee, Rigid, and DeWalt. And I think each one of them do different things very, very well. Each one of them, man, do things good. Uh, I, I don't, it, it doesn't bother me which one. If I grab a tool and it's red, yellow, or red, I don't care. Uh, it works. Or green. If y'all see my big green rigid pipe wrench, uh, it doesn't matter to me, man. Uh, yes. Street 45, regular 45, make a long turn. I mean, you can also take two regular 45s, put a little piece in there, and that kind of breaks that radius out even further. 12 foot flood takes three full flushes. Talked about that one a while ago. Roger K. Says, when did you do your first tunnel under a slab on grade house for a repair? Never seen that method before. Sub to your channel. Roger K. Thank you very much. You know, I probably did my first one. Mm. God, first time I tunneled up under a house. It's probably, you know what? I did one in Austin. It was under a Houston's restaurant. That was 1986. I'm getting old, but my memory works just fine. Uh, you know why we're plumbers? Because electricians need heroes. I love that. That is so true. Poor, poor, poor Sparky. Uh, Giovanni Morales says, what advice do you have for felons wanting to get in plumbing? Is it difficult trying to get my foot in the door? Giovanni, it's really not. Uh, number one, I would say you're going to have better luck getting a commercial job than a residential. And it really depends, too, on what your felony is. As long as it's not a crime of moral turpitude, meaning you didn't beat somebody up, shoot somebody, rape somebody, anything like that, uh, you can normally go ahead and get a job in construction. If uh, Even if it was, you might be able to get a job in construction. You may have a hard time getting a license in some states, uh, but even if you, Sean, I'm a, I'm going to delete your, never mind. Even if, uh, even if it was, if you've, if it's been a long time, you, you've served your time, you, you got out of trouble, whatever it is, you can normally have people in your community, your employers, your, your pastor at church, school teachers, Sunday school teachers, anybody at all, write letters on your behalf and say, look, I, I know that you know, Roger didn't always do things right. And wasn't always a good person, but I'm telling you, he's straightened up now and, and he's really trying to live a good life. And if you get letters about like that, man, a lot of times you can get by that stuff. So it just, it really depends on what the crime was. Yep. How happy are plumbers on Google? It says plumbing is one of the least happiest careers. What's your opinion? Well, number one, Alex, I, I'd appreciate if you'd like email me that or take that article and post it over on the subreddit. Uh, if you didn't see it, it's right there. Uh, man, I, I've never seen that plumbers are unhappy. I really think that it's been pretty good. Sean, I'm not even putting that comment up or I'm just telling you. Man, I hope it doesn't say 60 degrees. I hadn't really been watching it. It does say subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. If you hadn't subscribed yet, you need to. If you hadn't given me a thumbs up yet, you need to. If you hadn't shared this video with anybody yet, 
I need to do a better job because you really need to know that they need to do that. Ooh, Elena says it's 9.16 a.m. Tuesday morning in New Zealand. That's already tomorrow, girl. I love that. Yes, Friday is somebody's birthday around here. I like that. Gonna be a party. Uh, hey, Roger, happy Monday. Watching live from work at the San Antonio International Airport. Angel, man, I, was, I, I, I get in there every now and then. Uh, cool deal. I like that. Anthony Michael says the bowl ports are clogged. Probably so. Yeah, if y'all hadn't jumped over to the subreddit, there is the link right there. Even the night bot is telling y'all to go over. Now that's pretty good. Yes, the bowl ports are clogged. Architectural sheet metal is in the house. How are we doing today? Guys, that's another channel. If y'all hadn't gone over and checked it out, you need to. Uh, another trades channel, so love it and support it. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Sean, I like that. Uh, have you ever had an over-exaggerated? Oh, yeah. By the time I gave them the price because it was an emergency, they wish they hadn't have called. Uh, yeah, up in Ontario, Canada. Sean says he manually works a drill bit into the weep holes and makes sure they are cleaned out. And if those weep holes are cleaned out when you flush, it normally goes down good. Yeah, why it don't? Hey, it is what it is. Uh, hey, Roger. Love your vids, first year plumbing apprentice up in Newfoundland, Canada. Man, I got a lot of Canadian friends and I got a lot of Canadian friends in here. So I, I do, I love that, thank you. David Pajak says, hello from Germany. Uh, can you send me some clean water in, in Flint, Michigan? Man, that, I, I know I'm laughing, but that ain't even funny. Uh, have they got y'all's water problem figured out yet? Uh, Cause I've got some water filtration systems I'd, I'd talk to you about. Sean Strong says, buy one is a good septic product. Good deal. Uh, Alex, though, says going to be junior in high school this upcoming fall. Want to get into plumbing right after you graduate. Anything you could or should do while still in high school? Yeah, sh I mean, Alex, you're doing it. Uh, get in here on YouTube. Watch as many of these videos as you can. Get on Instagram. Follow boom underscore the plumber. Uh, that is Mr. Sean Strong. There's so many different people that you can watch and learn, but it's a great idea to do that. Great thing to do. Yeah, and, and Sean's right, guys. And those of y'all that asked a while ago about the different kinds of plumbers, and I've asked Sean this before, and I mean, I know it's a fact, and most plumbers that I talk to tell me the same thing. Hey, look, I never even knew there were different types of plumbing. Uh, man, I mean, I hate to say it, but it is so true. How did I become a plumber? I pooped and fell back in it. Not really. Uh, a, a real good friend of mine. We were working together one night. We were in a, I was managing a hamburger joint. He was there working with me and we were talking and he was telling me about his dad and his three brother, brothers that were plumbers. Turned out pretty cool. Michael Brennan says, hey, Roger and crew, thank you for your helpful advice. Well, if it was helpful advice, it came from me, not my crew, Sean. Uh, Y'all, look, I, I give Sean a hard time in here, but I tell you what, man, I love him to death. Great guy, uh, great plumber. Love talking to him about what he does, how he does it. So fantastic. Michael Brennan says, New York City, great advice from your channel. Thank you very much. Skylar says, hello, Roger. Man, here's a good one. Blackout says, what will I need to do to be a high earner as a plumber? You're in Virginia. So if you want to earn the most money possible in plumbing, you've got a few different options. You can learn construction management and move up to be a foreman, a superintendent, project manager, director of operations, whatever it is. Or you can learn sales. Get really good at sales. And by sales, I really mean communication because you're not 
trying to oversell people. You're trying to let them know what they need and what their options are. And if you get really good at sales, you can communicate with people very, very well. So if you do that, that's what's going to help you. Learn leadership, learn skills, learn communications. It's huge. <clears throat> Jerry Bob says, hello, Mr. Wakefield. Uh, have you personally ever had a veteran employee who supplemented their income with the GI Bill while apprenticing? Jerry Bob, you came to the right place. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have. I had a former Marine, great guy, uh, wonderful kid, uh, came through here. We were actually able, not only did he use his GI Bill, GI Bill, but we were also able to contact his uh, previous COs, get written validation that he had worked on or in the trades while he was in the service, helping build barracks and things like that. He was building walls, doing plumbing, doing HVAC, all kinds of things, but most of it was plumbing. So we were able to get him some hours for that. Uh, while he served in the military, so or for while he did it while he served in the military. And I got to tell you, I think that was great. Hardest plumbing to fix, Jason, to be honest, I mean, if you know what you're doing, it ain't that hard. Uh, it can be a lot of work, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're good. Eagle Scott Myers says, how much is that very cool clock in the background? I don't, I'm not sure there's a link to it down in the comments, but yeah, man, I love that thing. It, it is pretty cool. And if you look, our YouTube channel's at 374K. If you look in a minute, our TikTok is getting really, really close to it. Uh, I don't remember what we're at, but we ain't, we ain't far from it. I don't do this all the time, but I figure I'll go ahead and do it since we're... Yeah, 373.7. And it does say 60 degrees. Man, that's kind of nuts. Yeah, it says 93 on my deal. Uh, man, I don't know. Skinny McDougan says, hey, Roger, on a home in the Panhandle built in 1923, currently dealing with high iron. According to the last test, everyone I've talked to says there is no solution for this. Uh, you know, if the water coming in is high in iron, you may they may be right. I would check on a water filtration system, literally go in and search Google water filtration for iron and see if you can find one that can pull some of that out. Davis has bought a small expansion tank to help with extra pressure. Any tips on installing it? Yeah, the, the expansion tank's not really gonna help you on extra pressure. Uh, the expansion tank is gonna keep too much pressure from building up by giving it a place to go. That's what the diaphragm's in it for. I really don't think that's going to give you any extra pressure. Sorry. <clears throat> if your pipe shake violently while using cold water, uh, you're going to have to get in the wall and secure them. You might try putting on a vacuum breaker or something. It may help. Probably not. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, Roger, quick update. Remember me, the toilet, Coca-Cola trick? Yep, well, it helped. Your tricks also helped. We have installed a release or some. Never had a problem again. Thanks for the tip. You know what? Good for you. Yeah, it uses a half-inch wrench. It works like a dream, man. I get it. Those ferrule removing tools are fantastic, uh, and I think that's something every plumber should have, so... That's why I'm wanting to do a different, do a video on all the different ones that I have because I've actually got three or four back there. Good stuff. Uh, how would I get water running here on Mars? Mr. Musk wants to know. <laughs> you should have had me plumb the space station. It says, hey, Roger, how is Rachel? Her mustache is just like yours. Definitely she takes after you. Uh, number one, I don't know who Rachel is, uh, but if she's got a mustache, man, maybe she needs a job. Zach says, how physically demanding is plumbing? I was diagnosed with a chronic back injury from football. Was wondering if plumbing could be an option. You know, Zach, most plumbers have back problems. Uh, 
Now, if, if it's chronic and debilitating or anything like that, and you can't like lay down, get up under sinks, crawl around under crawl spaces, it may be tough to do. But if you can move around pretty good and you're like, look, I can lay down on the floor and you know under a sink for a few minutes or whatever, you might be fine. Hello. Uh, never would have thought there'd be that many people interested. I'll tell you what, there's people interested in everything. From Twig Plums in Newfoundland, there's plumbers everywhere, man, it's cool. Amber says, okay, what is the best birthday celebration a company has ever had for an employee? I like this. Plumbing or elsewhere? Elsewhere. Let's hear it. Yeah, she's asking for a friend because her birthday is coming up. Uh, tell me this. Guys, with everybody in here, what is the best thing a company's ever done for y'all for your birthday? What kind of a celebration? Uh, is it just bringing breakfast? You know, what, what, what is it? Pin the tail on the dispatcher? I mean, there's a lot of different things it could be. What is it that, what, what is the coolest thing a company you've ever worked at has done for an employee for their birthday? For a channel about plumbing, find you really entertaining. Nathaniel Frazier, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Babar says, yeah, Babar. I don't know, who, I don't know who Nathaniel is, but, or Rachel is, but. Brandon Hamilton, two water heaters run them balanced or one feeding the other. Uh, I like balanced with four valves. That way I can shut off either one of them. Mr. Smith says, hello, thanks for the vids. If you had water pressure irregularities, I knew I could get it, and water leaked from the tub faucet shower head went off, would you think it would be the shower diverter valve? Uh, I think that that could lead to part of the problem depending on how fast it's leaking out, but just because you have a head leaking doesn't mean that's causing pressure problems throughout your house. Architectural sheet metals is tradespeople make more money than doctors in some cases. More money than doctors and lawyers. I, I did a big report whenever I was putting together all my content for the, the Trades Academy, getting into the trades. Big deal. Yeah, and way less tuition to pay off. Yeah, no, no debt for college education. Any tips for cleaning a back-to-back -back bathtub stoppage? Yeah, can you go in through the vent? Uh, can you get up on the roof and go in through the vent? That may be the only way you can get into it. If you do plumbing in the military, will those hours be counted? If you can get your CO to write you a letter, depending on what state you're in, uh, if you can get it to the right people, it is possible. A vlogger gamer. Uh, unfortunately, he's being honest. Uh, if you uh, salary for doctors and lawyers, <clears throat> uh, annual salary about two hundred thousand a year, two hundred eight thousand median salary. Uh, I know plumbers that make more than that. Uh, medical doctor, or lawyer, and the print, of course, is real small. So they're looking at 182 all the way down to 155. And this is for, uh, I guess that's a doctor. Uh, 155,000 in Oklahoma, 180,000 in Washington. Yeah, uh, guys, trust me, plumbers can make more. Any the content is higher. Uh, I love it right here. <laughs> Gaming Salmi says, uh, this amazing man made me want to become a plumber. I love that. Congratulations. Uh, Okie from Beaver. I'll tell you what. How you got in here, I have no idea. Rusty Shackler says, do plumbers follow drawings for plumbing engineers closer, or do they just kind of do their own thing? And Rusty, this is really good, because whenever I was in a union, I taught uh, plumbing blueprint drawing. And it was really neat. 
uh, not number one, I, I love teaching, but when you're out on a big job, you pretty much have to put it in like the drawings say, because so many other people are trying to do the same thing. And if you don't, it can get really, really bad. It's a be beautiful day, I know. You're right, brother. Tyler Bond says, Roger, quick question. I live in Texas. My top, wa your tap water tastes a little salty. Uh, filtration system. Or do you have a, do you already, do you have a water softener you get in saline in it? Uh, Bavar, I guess I did not. Shade Spears is having a day off. Good for you. Just acknowledge it's your birthday. Never happened to me. You know, my, my people get excited because we do try to do things for their birthdays. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Babar says, in my country, trade skill people don't get uh, education, birthday parties, or days off. And I would pack my crap and move then. <clears throat> How many days a week did you work as a plumber? Alex, I still work about eight days a week. Uh, I hate to say that, but I really do. Uh, I, I'm normally, and that's not true. No, normally, Saturdays and Sundays, I come in for a little while, but it's just if I have stuff that I need to get done and knocked out. But here lately, I've been just trying to take a little more time to myself and away from the company. So I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit better. Uh, Billy says, I hate that I have a bad knee. I'll tell you what, most plumbers have bad backs and bad knees. Uh, it is what it is, but it, it happens. And, and Billy, you can, still, you can still be a plumber. Uh, I mean, man, I've seen plumbers with one leg and one arm. So, man, if you want to do anything bad enough, you can do it. Should new houses use sewer lines for gutters and French drains or have the water naturally run off to the curb? Well, you can run your gutter into a French drain that runs out to the curb is probably the best way to do it. Jonathan says, really enjoy your channel. I'm a journeyman in San Angelo. Very familiar with it. Uh, I do service in a construction residential. Does knowing both sides very well make me worth more in a bigger city? You know, you know Jonathan, here's the deal. If you know both sides, it's going to help you. Uh, what I would say is you, you can probably make the most money. Like, like if you came to Dallas and you're a good residential service plumber, you know, you can make good money. Uh, the fact that you know construction is going to help you because you're going to understand things better. People aren't going to pay you more just because you can bounce from one job to the other. Most plumbers should be able to do that. So, man, I, I would say, man, come on to the big city if you just want to make more money. I think you'll be good. Travis says, your thoughts on commercial drain cleaning? I think it has got to be done. Uh, if you got a stopped up drain, you need to get it cleaned. It's a pretty smart tailed way to look at it. I get it. Uh, look, I, I don't mean that bad. If, you know, commercial drain cleaning, and it's, it's a good business. Uh, a lot of companies don't want to do it. Here's the thing if you're a commercial drain cleaner, people need you in the middle of the night, people need you at, at five or six or eight in the evening when they're busy. And most people don't want to do that. <clears throat> What's up, Roger? Just a beautiful day, man. Architectural Sheet Metal says, what made you get into YouTube? Has the reason changed over time? For me, I'd like to teach full time eventually. I really got into this to help make the phone ring here at my plumbing company. And that's why I looked down a little bit. It was. Uh, the neat thing about it is it has grown into a business. I've got five people on my marketing team now that, that do a lot of stuff, even though it's probably fixing to get cut to four. Uh, I've, I've got people that I need to work with over there and help learn new things and grow. And it's done that and it's helped us grow on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn. So we're constantly looking at how to grow and how to get better. And, it started with me doing it to grow the plumbing company. Now it's growing into a business of its own. So it really is neat. 
Yeah, Sean says he's got bad ankles. Ladder safety is important. Ladder safety is huge. First of all, inspect the ladder before you get on it each and every time. But then another one is, and follow the rules of the ladder. Don't stand on the very top of it. Use three-point connection, all kinds of things. Khalil says, Roger, what do you suggest for someone who isn't the best at math? How do you go about improving skills? 19, looking into joining Local 123 of Tampa. I'll tell you what, and, and Khalil, there's not a ton of math. Don't get me wrong, there's math involved, but it is not so bad that, that you can't learn it. Uh, I promise you that. Michael Strain says, how hard would it be to change my electrical stove to be converted over to gas stove in your house, run the gas line since already have natural gas heaters. If you've got a gas line out back close that you can get to and tie onto, and you may have to go all the way to the meter and run it around. So you can get it, but it may not be easy. It depends on how far it is. Just finished interview with Roto Rooter. Pretty sure you got the job. Appreciate your channel. Happy Hannah's good for you. Big West, hello. Tyler Bond, you are more than welcome. Uh, man, look, we love doing this. Jay says, way to increase shower water pressure. Hot water tends to run lower than cold, but cold barely runs. Uh, you may just need a, a new cartridge in there. If you've got the same amount of pressure all over your house, it's just lower on your shower. It just could be a cartridge. Uh, so there's a lot of different things it could be. Rehaw Peck system. I haven't used it over here. Uh, here. Here's my only thing about PEX. I love Upanor because it expands the pipe to go over the fitting. The only problems that I have with some of these systems is the ones that have the fittings that are reduced in size. That will com completely lead to flow restriction problems all the way through. Hey, Roger, any thoughts on the Viega Mana Block? residential properties, replacing some floors in my house, discovered a small leak. I like the amount of blocks. Uh, you know, the, the neat thing about it now, don't get me wrong, it creates longer water runs. So you're not going to have hot water to certain places as quickly. But Jeff, I got to tell you, uh, it's nice to just know that if you got a problem somewhere, you go shut one valve, you don't lose it anywhere else. What's the process like to become an apprentice? Is it difficult to find a union to take you in as first year? Alex, it can be. What I would tell you is you probably want to go down and start talking to the union now and, and if that's the way you're wanting to get in. If not, start talking to a residential service company or, or construction company and talk to them. What's your reaction when a customer has a kitchen sink stoppage and insists on snaking the main line? First, I check the main line. Uh, and, and if the main line's not stopped, I'm going to tell them, well, I'll run a cable and it's just going to cost you more money, but it's not going to fix the problem. What I would do, though, is talk to them about snaking out from the vent and then going all the way through the main line. That way you can knock them both out. Flores fam, what's up? Have you ever hired any mechanical engineers? I haven't. I want people that actually work. Kodak White says, what do you think of the title trade? Uh, it doesn't bother me. Uh, we're in the construction trades. And a trade is something that, that you can take and learn and do and grow. And it's a skill set that you can build on. Uh, doesn't bother me at all. Tell me why you have a problem with it. Kodak, if you will. Looking over here in the form, seeing if I have any more questions. I know that I've been going through the form or, or through the chat pretty fast. Uh... Trying to see something here. Let me see what it'll tell me. Yeah, I was trying to see what the what it says. The definition of trade is
And I'm trying to see because the occupation requiring manual or mechanical skill, craft. See, that, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, so, Kodak, let me know why you've got a problem with it. Architectural says, the biz takes up a lot of time, hard to get a video out, but I really enjoy making them and learning. YouTube has been a challenge. Yes, it has. But it's fun. Is it possible to increase water pressure to the whole house? Yes, but you've got to get a storage tank and a booster pump, backflow preventer, things like that. But, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, if they didn't fix anything, I'd kind of have an issue with it if they couldn't find it or anything like that. Uh, that would kind of kind of bug me. Yes. Matthew Ruffalo, I think it's great. If you can be a plumber and HVAC and electrician, man, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've seen people open companies and they actually had all three licenses. I thought that was a great deal. Ladder safety is huge. If I have any problem with the title trade, lay tile and really enjoy doing it. Absolutely way to drill holes for drainage we normally don't drill holes for drainage uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about there Riley uh, normally like if it's in a granite or marble or something like that man we let the countertop guys do it we don't drill holes so I'm not sure to advise whole home sprinkler system for a whole home remodel uh, I would, uh, just because I'm in, I have a license in Texas to do it, and I think they're smart. Hey, Roger, do you have any tips on becoming a plumber on the side while having a full-time job in another trade, an aircraft painter? I'll tell you what, it's going to be hard for you to find a job, like at a plumbing company or electrical company or anything like that, where you're going to be able to work in the evenings and weekends and get enough hours to really learn it. So that that's kind of the way I look at it. Uh Sean, if you or anybody else in here see it a little bit different, uh, leave me a message in here and let me know what y'all think. Sorry about that, guys. Starting to cough a little get a little bit again. We're probably going to cut out of here pretty quick. Uh, I like that. Jump back in here. Chill Papa says, "Thanks for the vid. Started your first day as a residential service plumber apprentice today." Lots of online training. Absolutely. Good for you. Um, could the flow of water be the cause of low water pressure? Jay, here's the deal. Normally it, it's volume. If you've got good pressure, like where the water comes into the house, I'd ask the city what the pressure is at the meter. See if there's a pressure reducing valve installed. If you've got good pressure, like it's your front hose bib, and what you can do is put a pressure gauge on it, turn it on, turn off everything in the house, see what the pressure gets up to. If you've got pressure 80 PSI or above, and you should have great water flow throughout your entire house, the only reason you may not be is a flow restrictor, a pressure reducing valve, or somebody put in PEX, and now you have a bunch of small fittings slowing the volume down. Mr. Pumps require an expansion tank. New booster pump company, not recommending expansion tank. A booster pump does not have to have an expansion tank. A booster pump's going to boost your pressure. You may want a pressure relief valve. A water heater on a closed loop system has to have an expansion tank. Uh, no, I have not ever flooded a home plumber payday, and I hope I never do. Uh, that would be a bad thing. Alex Taylor says, not plumbing ready. Be cool to learn more about you outside of plumbing. Do you have a wife and kids? How's your life outside of plumbing? Uh, man, I plumb all the time. I don't have a life outside of plumbing. I wish I did. Uh, you know, man, I love to ride a motorcycle, go scuba diving and stuff like that. But I tell you what, here lately, I feel like I work on the time. I need a life outside of plumbing. Architectural sheet metal says in Europe, you're considered a roof plumber. Absolutely. Moving water, brother. MC says, finally got into the plumber's union. Just want to say thank you for the knowledge and congratulations. 
I am happy for you. Raised by a plumber. There you go. See, I knew you were a good guy. Sean Strong says plumber. Isn't that, wait, plumbing isn't part-time. Boy, isn't that the truth? Uh, and you're right. Plumbing doesn't care what's going on, man. You got to get to it. Architectural sheet mirror says, how do I increase my pressure on a well system? Increase the pressure on the pump. Jay, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Uh, Porque Because says, thank you for everything you show us. You are more than welcome. Man, I'm going to make this easy. We just got through all the questions in the comments. I have no more questions in the forum, and it is almost getting to quitting time. So I'm going to cut it short just because I've been coughing like heck. Uh, Rafe says, I get a lot, of call, a lot of calls about water pressure in sinks. A lot of time it just stands in the aerator. Yeah, clean out your aerator, clean out your cartridge. There's so many different things you can do, but it makes it easy. Got your gun, says, it, is it okay to pee in the shower? Man, if you want to, I mean, I ain't going to stop you. Just saying. Uh, it's, it all ends up in the same place anyway, and that's done at the water treatment plant. Yosef says, hey, keep applying. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, keep applying for a plumber helper. Can't get a job and live in Pennsylvania. Uh, do some research. Learn more. Learn how to communicate, because if you're applying you know, you need to be able to talk to them and explain to them why you would be a good person to hire. Hope that helps. Yeah, there you go, Yosef. Best starter toolkit for plumbing apprentice, tape measure, channel locks, adjustable pliers, an adjustable wrench, a flashlight, a notepad, a pen. Tape measure, flashlight, four-way screwdriver, channel locks, crescent wrench. Knock it out. My plumber said it can get complicated, and it can get complicated. Garbage disposal for a septic tank? Yeah, I've seen them on septic tank systems before. Water pressure water treatment systems, if the media is bad. Yeah, if they don't regen right and they don't clean out right, yeah, you can have problems there. Uh, Los Kuda Buddha says... Starting as an apprentice next week, what can I expect on my first day? A lot of work. The, oh. Sean says, remember, the subreddit is a good place to ask questions, too. Lots of helpful people over there. Amen. Uh, guys, I am going to get ready to jump out. Uh, Hunter Odenell says, what's your opinion on carrying Leatherman's or multipurpose tools? I normally have a Leatherman in my pocket everywhere I go. That's what I was reaching down for. I pulled it out in the office while I go before I came in. Uh, it really can help you, though. Architectural sheet metal, you're more than welcome. Love it. I will be here next week. Here in a couple of weeks, so guys, I'm going to be headed to L.A. Uh, I've got to speak at an event up there. I may try to do live from there. It'll be a little bit different. I'm trying to figure out how to do LinkedIn live tomorrow. I've got a on-site tankless water heater training tomorrow. So that's going to be interesting. I love it. Uh, program to get how to apply and cover letter. You know, I've, I've got a getting into the trades program. I don't have the cutter letter cover letter written. I do have a section in there on how to apply for the job. Things you need to know. Those, those are actually really good, Yosef. I am putting those in my notes so that I can add those to that course. That'd be great. Tyler Bond says my water heater shut off. Won't come back on. Tried everything. Uh, sadly, not a plumber. Any ideas? Flicker on once in a blue moon, but immediately go off again. Tyler, have you turned it off for about five minutes to let everything reset and then try lighting it again? Plumbing apprentices start out at about thirty to 40000 a year. How stressful is plumbing? Alex, man, once you figure it out, it's not stressful. I mean, you're just you're there to solve a problem. And when you get good at it, it works. Hunter, I'm assuming it is since he said it flickered off and then on. So, guys, again, I want to say thank you to Sean Strong for being in here. Uh, great moderator, got great plumber. Uh, go over to boom underscore the plumber. Check him out. Go to the subreddit, Roger Wakefield Posts, right there on the screen. Go over there, leave your questions, comments, 
If you have any good pictures, videos, anything you've seen in plumbing, jump over there, share it over there. We'll comment, talk about it. It may actually end up on one of our videos. I hope that y'all have had fun in here tonight. Uh, also, Architectural Sheet Metal. Go over and check out Architectural Sheet Metal 101. Go over and check out their YouTube channel. Uh, guys, I'm glad y'all are here. I uh, hope you had a good time here tonight. I am going to get out of here just a little bit early, which is kind of nice. Oh, I didn't even put all my, see, I didn't even put all my scrollers up, man. Sean, you need to get on to me. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it tonight. I will be in here next Monday. Uh, if you hadn't checked us out, follow us on LinkedIn. Check us out normally Tuesdays and Thursdays. I go live at 10 o'clock. If you can catch me there, it's great. If not, I'll see you right back here next Monday. If you got something of value in here today, you liked it, share it with somebody. Let them know. There are people out there that are looking for jobs, need to find good jobs, and I think the trades are one of the best places to get it. So thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. I'll see you next week. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.